What the fuck is good, y'all? It's coffee. Tap it back in with another one, man. And y'all see what it says on the screen. Danger. Danger. Like, for real, this is just crazy, man. You know, so often on this channel, uh, we talk about music, entertainment, hip-hop, viral videos, all kinds of ish like that. You feel me? And it's so crazy nowadays, as I always point out, where so many different worlds intersect. You know, like the hip-hop world entertainment world the business side of things you know what i'm saying the money getting them streams up and everything like that trolling fake promo campaigns like all, all that stuff it's crazy it's so hard at times to decipher what is real and what is strategic or someone just trying to go viral or even worse there's cats at times that get caught up and just get in this like zone where they don't i don't know like they're just so caught up in the online vibes and all that like they forget the line between what's real and what's not you feel me like so often uh people refer to that guy uh black boy y'all remember him right um in that side of things like did dude really know like he had to know what he was doing but did he get so caught up in the in the um internet hype that he was experiencing and, and forget about it all because he obviously anyone thinking logically has to realize like that's a death sentence you're playing with life and death you know what i mean like and at some point because he was at that ish for a while um you know even if you got caught up in it for a moment you think there would be a point in time where someone would just say okay um wow what was i doing let me stop i'm playing with my life you know but with all that being said, with WAC 100, I don't know if y'all seen this whole situation transpiring. This is crazy, man. Um, you know, we know WAC is, is caught up in a lot of different things all the time. Right now, he's been going at it with a few different individuals. And we've pointed out before that he does a lot of things um, for the promo. You know what I'm saying? Like that Mike Tyson interview. There wasn't real no fight. Like Mike didn't pop off on him over Tupac. He was just saying that and everyone tuned in and it did crazy numbers. And that's just one example. You know what I'm saying? We could go down the lists of controversies that wax been embroiled in and, you know, try and, and decipher what was for some kind of campaign like that or what wasn't, you know. But uh, Wack just uh, pulled back up at No Jumper the other day. Uh, he had his man with him. You know what I'm saying? That he... Uh, signed or tapped in with from the clubhouse world shout out to that guy congrats to that guy you know what i mean he put in a lot of work doing all those rooms on clubhouse and i'm sure you know now he's helping whack with his uh podcast i'm sure he's gonna see a nice bag off that and who knows you know what i'm saying the doors will open the possibilities are endless of what could be next for that individual but, uh, you know, Wax spoke on a lot of things. Obviously, he's riding hard for Kanye right now against Pete Davidson. You know, he he he's, he he ain't feeling that skeet is, uh, you know, got Kim K up under his arm. He's not happy about that. Uh, you know, he was talking about the situations with C C Mac and ODM Slim and all that. But um, another situation that he spoke about was Trey Way 6K, right? A dude who we just saw return to the No Jumper platform for his second time a couple weeks ago. We saw him shout out and validate Milk 74. That was a big viral moment from that interview. But uh something else that Trey Way spoke about. And once again, y'all tap in and comment and let me know if y'all rock with Trey Way's music if you fluck with the music he he uh puts out, you know? Him and Young Threat definitely got some hits up under their belt as they try to maneuver through this rap game and, you know, find that ultimate success and get that bag, you know, like, fuck the fame. Let's get paid. But something that Trey Way mentioned was that he had some kind of deal or some kind of business lined up. And uh, he said WAC 100 used uh, the, the industry muscles that he had to flex on him and shut the deal down and after that people weren't fucking with him no more so we still out here independent trying to find another way to really break through in the game well this is where ish gets real crazy crazy wax spoke about it uh on this 
No Jumper episode that I was just speaking of when he had his clubhouse homie with him. And, uh, you know, he was saying that wasn't uh, the way it went down. Wack wasn't trying to hate on him or block his deal. No, nah, it wasn't that. He was saying that the man's um, name, and once again, y'all, real quick disclaimer is Jay Coffee's Hawk always got to put out there. Y'all know I'm an internet nerd, a square. You know what I'm saying? I just blog on the ish that I fuck with. Music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. I ain't a gangster, you feel me? I'm snitching. Leave me alone. You know what I mean? I don't want no problems. I don't want no smoke. But as I was just talking about different worlds intersecting, you know, people that are fans of the hip hop music nowadays see a lot of gang culture and stuff like that play out over the Internet. And Wack 100 was saying, you know, he wasn't trying to hate on him. It was just that uh, dude's name is disrespectful to different gangs and whatnot. And because of that, he can't fuck with him. Well, since then, things have got really out of hand, as I stated in the beginning of the video. Danger, mystical voice and real quick side conversation. I hate that. Like, like do you, is is mystical a wicked one to y'all? I was a huge fan of mystical. You know what I'm saying? But, um, eh, you know, dude, was he out here violating and doing wicked things? I know he just beat that. Um case uh recently the second time around but the first time around that was not the case and reportedly there was some very wicked video uh footage or whatever you know and um i was a huge fan of mysticals but anyways getting back to what we're talking about here with whack 100 tra tradeway 6k things are getting dangerous things are getting crazy uh tradeway i guess some way or another uh, came, came across Wack 100's address and uh, you know he ain't feeling the way Wack was talking or I don't know if he thinks Wack is capping and was you know was hating on him and then was trying to go about it a different way or something like that and I don't know but seems he's mad at Wack 100 as he put up this post and said Wack 100 stop speaking up on real ones we know where you're at and then put out his address, which just so everyone can take notice, Coffee blurred that out. I'm not trying to take part in spreading that, you know what I mean, even though it's all over the, the Internet now. But uh, after that, some individual pulled up to WAC 100's house and released a video, uh, apparently, you know, of him strapped, screaming for WAC 100 to come out, talking about he was going to clap him and even pissed on his property on his fence although um i heard a you know a whole clubhouse convo going down where some people were saying yo the man fake pissed on the property he didn't even really do it he was cat he was piss capping or something if that's even a thing i don't know but um you know it, it got crazy um they ended up talking about the whole situation and uh the individual who did this video that i guess went viral on world sire and all that um hopped in the room and you know uh you, you know was talking some real gang talk on everyone um you know they were trying to ask him really what was his reasoning behind all this um you know the treyway 6k's name had got brought up dude didn't say he was doing it behind anything treyway 6k said or, or nothing like that if they were connected in any way shape form or fashion it didn't seem like that i don't know y'all can comment and let me know what you guys think about this um you know a lot of the cats that were in that clubhouse room were saying that they felt like dude was just trying to find his own viral fame but um i'm just saying this is nuts man like this creates a real dangerous situation whenever you go up to anyone's crib um you know what i'm saying that you don't really know like that on some rah rah ish like even if you don't make a whole video of it um p real pissing fake pissing pulling the strap out or not or whatever if you just went up to someone's house knocking on the door saying i want to have a heated exchange conversation with you outside that can get crazy you know what i'm saying when like people come to people's houses um we know that, um, you know, opens up very dangerous situations where people feel like they, you know, need to defend themselves. Um, someone could get shot down or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. And the last thing we really want, right, is to see anyone, 
get hurt or killed you know what i'm saying especially over all this right like i, I don't know y'all tap in and comment and let me know what you guys think you know what i'm saying why would this guy do this or not um you know and as i was pointing out some people were saying they thought that it was connected to Treyway 6K or not. Um, even if it wasn't, you know, what do y'all think? Do you guys think the fact that he uh, leaked Wax Info, that comes back on him regardless? Like, I don't know, man. It's just wild. The, the internet gets crazy. They say the internet's defeat, undefeated or whatever, however y'all want to uh, put it. We just become accustomed to see a w lot of wow-ish online all the time you know what i'm saying people filming themselves committing crimes and all kinds of stuff like that but um even with all that i was like damn this is just crazy you know what i'm saying because um we know there's a lot of whack is a very abrasive individual who's always you know going at someone online like i said for whatever reason maybe it's to you know try to go viral or promote something or maybe he's really just mad at someone or whatever and there's a lot of cats out there that don't like them, you know, like a uh, whack ass came at me sideways a few times. Like I shared with y'all before and flat out, you know, told me I got some pain coming my way, you know. But even with that, I don't want to see no one pulling up to this man's house or anything like that going down. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't want to see no ish like that. But uh, what do y'all think about this? This whole ish is crazy. Do y'all think there's any situation someone can moderate all this and, you know, uh, be a, a neutral party and squash the issue what are your thoughts on this all as a whole jump in the comments below let's get the discussion going um if you're new to the channel over here on j coffee talk that's exactly what it's all about talking it up that's what we do we tap in uh you know we can agree to disagree let me know your thoughts on the whole situation dude pulling up you know what i'm saying uh trade way 6k and uh, whack 100 uh the deal um not happening him feeling whack blocked the deal whack claiming that he didn't you know whack said he had a bozo point dexter manager um do you guys think that treyway 6k should change his name i mean i know on the interview he did with trell he was saying if the bag was right he would so you know even with what whack said about oh man that name is disrespectful to people or whatever instead of just shooting it down why didn't he you know reach out to him and say, yo, are you open to changing your name? You know, if, if we're going to advance your career, if I'm going to, you know, help that happen or whatever, are you open to changing your name? Like, should he have just hollered at him or what? Like, what do y'all think about the whole situation? Tap in the comments below. New viewers, once again, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. More content coming. And I'm gone.